we are on our way to New York. <laughs> literally turn into being a physical fight. What's up guys? We are on our way to New York. <laughs> Escaping the hurricane. It's actually not that bad this year. We had our flight canceled yesterday with one airline and we switched to another so it seems like it's happening, finger crossed. Uh, we left Allegra with my parents at home so which is nice. <coughs> We're taking one week off, have a lot of things planned in New York, seeing friends, Broadway shows, all this stuff we don't have here. So I'll take you along. I don't know how much I'll be filming but I'll, I'll do my best. <laughs> hey guys, we are in the airport. It seems like the flight is happening. The airport is so empty. I never seen that empty airport in forever. I guess a lot of lot of flight got canceled. But so far ours is still in. We are in New York. We just arrived. Just checked into our hotel. We're staying in the Baccarat Hotel. We got this view, typical view of New York buildings. <laughs> the weather so far so good. I was expecting it to be colder, but funny enough, it is cold inside of the room because I don't know why, but they put AC on full speed when it's not that hot outside. Like I don't get it. Why? Why? Why do we have to put AC all the time? We have winter outside. Update: Allegra is good. We got um pick pictures update i'm gonna show you now so far so good the situation in miami is not that bad the um, hurricane look at her guys because she's living her life with grandma and grandpa looking cute and some sunglasses what's up guys good morning just woke up as i'm getting closer to my period i literally if i have even one drink i can see it on my face <laughs> like the, the swelling of the face is not the best in the morning anyway yesterday of course when we went for dinner and for this jazz bar i forgot my phone and forgot sorry i forgot my camera not my phone so i had to make some pictures and a little footage on my phone but anyway we didn't get to enjoy the jazz bar as much because there literally was no spot to even stand we came back there we were supposed to go there before the dinner we went there before the dinner there was no spot we're like okay fine we're gonna go for dinner do you think there will be a spot after dinner They're like yeah yeah come back so we came back it was even worse like there was nowhere to stand so we gave up on the jazz bar and just came home and watched some tv show <laughs> ah. so that's a story of our last night very quiet and calm evening <laughs> I'm actually going right now to the gym quickly and then I'm going to meet my friend and her baby that I never met before so I'm super excited for this one and we are actually also planning to go to eat desserts after the lunch there's some amazing spot that she told me we have to go they have the best desserts so I'm very excited for that one as well that's it I'm gonna actually work now for an hour because I have some content to post and we'll just Rock and roll will just take you along in my day. <laughs> literally looks like her husband we just talked about it how you do all the work exactly. all the suffering and then they come out look like your husband so i guess it's it's meant to be hopefully the next uh that's all my hopes <laughs> that's the only hope anyway guys so we just had lunch we are actually going to drop off a little treasure at home because she's running out of her patience she's over us and then we are going to dessert oh, spot 
spot which I was dying to go for the last year because this lady was like keep sending me pictures and stories about it and uh, finally it's happening you guys know how much I love desserts that's gonna be my place for sure can't wait to see it Yeah, it's very healthy for you. It's healthy for the soul. Okay, I want it all. So guys, we're gonna have a private sitting outside. Just me and Katrina. Romantic. uptown to my hotel it's been literally five hour lunch with my friend because we haven't seen each other in so long and when we see each other after such a long break we have so many things to talk about like literally the time passed like this and I had to go because we have actually a Broadway show in an hour I hope I will make it on time we're going to Moulin Rouge so I'm super, super happy, excited to see it. Actually, it's funny, every time we come with Valerio to New York, we always, always do at least one Broadway show. So I will definitely make some footage as much as I can in Moulin Rouge because I think the cameras are not allowed there. So I'll have to film it on my phone. What else? Yeah, I'm driving. Oh, yeah, I think I forget how much traffic New York has. We complain about Miami traffic. New York is all another level. Good, so sorry to bother you. We are actually at Moulin Rouge Broadway show. Hi guys, it's Monday in New York. I honestly didn't vlog for two days because I just wanted to enjoy my time, fully enjoy my friends that I don't get to see so often. I feel like I didn't even check back after our Broadway show, which I actually was planning and hoping to film a little more. But honestly, like as soon as I would take out my phone off my bag, they would like run rushing towards me like, put your phone down, put your phone down. So I didn't manage to film absolutely anything only the actual stage and you can see right here i'm gonna show you the stage was insane like the production of the set design the costume the performers and i don't know i've never been to actually moulin rouge because it's a quite old show but i feel like they updated it because all the songs were like a popular songs nowadays like lady gaga and lana del rey and like all these singers that are in right now so i don't know if they updated it but it was very like it felt very up to date so i've been to approximately seven broadway shows and i would say that this was my favorite one because on this specific broadway show there was a lot of singing which i personally love i feel like broadway shows are go well with with singing i don't like when it's a lot of talking i don't like when it's like rapping i've done this broadway show which called Hamilton and honestly was not a fan of it I mean it won a lot of awards don't have anything against it but it's just not for me uh, this one was really uplifting light easy to watch so highly recommend right now I'm on my way to exhibition of Basquiat it was kind of a last-minute arrangement Valeria was supposed to come with me but he've got some meetings so I'm going there alone I might meet my friend Katya a little later so we'll take you along with me I'm not sure how was filming how is the filming there like if i'm allowed or not hopefully yes so guys that's that's pretty much the plan i'm honestly like just going with the flow of this vlog because i, I, I felt a little on the weather too for two days so i didn't put a lot of pressure on myself to like film and to get the content done and everything and honestly it's like so rainy and gray outside like it was not the vibe <laughs> but i still have two days so i'll make the best out of it I 
absolutely love all the pieces they are presenting here but this yellow one is insane look at this as soon as you walk into this room you don't see anything else but this piece look how awesome that is hey guys we finally found the room which is our vibe we wanted to go out here it is month out 1 p.m monday <laughs> What's up guys? I am on my way to shoot content and the weather is perfect. I honestly wanted to get frustrated about it and wanted to cancel it but then I was like you know what I'll try to make it work I'll try to make the best out of it and also the good news is all the looks that I have are leather because I really wanted to have more of a wintry kind of autumn -y styling which I'm not usually wearing in Miami so I wanted to do something different something more dark uh, and I feel like the weather is actually exactly the setting I need for this I'm trying to be positive guys do you see me <laughs> i'm trying to look at it optimistically anyway let's see i still have 20 minutes to drive to location and we'll see if anything's gonna change I'll throw back. I will give you a little story time. We'll take you to places that brings a lot of memory and emotions. It's first place will be my first modeling apartment. I'll show you the building now. I came to New York when I was 17 and uh, my first agency was New York Models. It's located in Broadway around Soho and we have an, had a modeling apartment that was about 20 minutes away by walk so it's also located kind of around Soho I'm trying to actually find it because I don't remember where exactly it is but I feel like it's around here one second guys okay I figured it was just another block so I was I came here when I was uh, 17 no parents just alone was living in this modeling apartment with 11 girls I remember they've been like a room a small room with three bank beds uh, literally uh, six girls in one room and then there was another room where it was only two beds so you could actually uh, we kind of were fighting for that room which had two girls in one room oh my god there's so many random people guys i'm trying to walk fast guys this is the building funny enough i feel like they did some sort of rebranding for it because it looks completely different now Of course my camera died just when I was recording my first apartment modeling apartment moment but anyway I wanted to it was just like a fun thing to do I thought it will be fun to like stop by all these places that I remember from when I came to New York and what they reminded me of which kind of feelings they triggered I feel like I need to shut it down this TV <laughs> Oof. anyway so i always have pretty like mixed feelings when i come to new york every time i like experience this nostalgic feelings which i told you i feel like a part of me been left in new york me as a model me coming here alone just like hustling just like a lot of identity that's been built here are still here i don't know how to explain that because i feel like when i when i met malaria when we get married like i mean it is what it was a well thought decision when and I moved to Miami and I wanted to stay there and I love Miami and it's been a great decision and I'm not complaining or regretting it but it didn't happen smoothly probably so and I still felt like even when I was moving out of my last apartment that I would have been renting here my friend was moving
moving out my clothes like I couldn't be there I don't know I just felt like door wasn't closed here completely if you know what I mean so every time when I come here I would get this nostalgic feeling feel a little bit sadness but this time funny enough I feel like I don't have it anymore and I was trying to analyze why I don't have it anymore and I think it's first time in my life that I came to New York not being a model I have now a job of content creator so I feel like now coming here with a different purpose with a different message with a different goal it feels different you know what I mean so just to round up what I wanted to say yes so that was just my observation and like I'm just generally this type of person that get attached to places like places triggers emotions in me or like smells too funny enough like a perfume I feel like I know people perfumes very well like I, I, I don't know people are just associated with certain smells for me like it's just like I get attached to certain things and for example places is one of the things that I definitely am very good generally and visual like with directions I might not be good with names or with numbers remembering numbers but I am very good at remembering visually places and I feel like New York just like been such a big part of my life and it's it was kind of hard to detach from it but I did feel now that I detach completely and I and this trip kind of I had different emotions about it anyway so that's why I came to day two my first modeling apartment place I wanted to show you I also found this picture on my Instagram which I show you right here from a window of this apartment first day in New York first morning in New York and I just remember myself being like so young and so full of dreams and emotions and and just like so many goals I had so fun fact that I wanted to kind of bring out here a funny story actually about this modeling apartment that kind of uh, stuck in my head is I had um, of course it was like all of the model apartment are super dirty so it was was not an exception this model apartment was super dirty and anyway there was one specific girl that I remember she uh, moved in right after me and she was seemed very nice in the beginning but the fashion week started and she did some like major shows and from one day to another she decided that she is a celebrity so this girl was literally opening the door with her leg, was not saying hi to anyone, super dirty, like would leave everything behind just for a second. Also, we're stealing food <laughs> from other people. Yes, guys, this is happening in modeling apartment. You like sometimes have to put a lock on the fridge. <laughs> And I remember in the morning she would take like one hour to get ready and we have one bathroom for six people like we're, I was living in a room with six people and at some point I just started to fight with her and it literally turned into being a physical fight. Yeah, I know it's hard to imagine I can physically fight with someone, but I can. But I can. <laughs> Don't uh, let this angelic face fool you. When I have to stand up for myself, trust me, I will. Anyway, so uh, that was the story. Then also the, the fact that the model apartment was so gross and dirty, there was a cleaning lady that, you know, I don't know if you guys know how it works, but usually modeling apartment not given to you for free. The model apartment is like given to you on when you arrive, but they charging you out of your money that you earn. So and they basically give you like a credit, right? So you kind of go in and they charge you this crazy money. Just so you know, they charge us, I think, 2000 per person for the shitty apartment that we had so it means six people like imagine how much money it's just two bedroom apartment like probably at that time two bedroom in this building was costing maximum 3000 so they were making money on us the agency anyway long story short this cleaning lady was not doing her job very well I went to the agency I told them and by the way this is not the only agency that does it every agency does it so that's just the way it works so this this cleaning lady wasn't doing her job and obviously we're the one who's paying for this and I'm always for fairness so I went there to this modeling agency and I said to them listen the cleaning lady you hired are not doing her job place is so dirty like there's cockroaches everywhere on which I would expect they would talk to a cleaning lady or switch the cleaning lady no instead they attack me like like it was my job to do her job long story short I was like 
you know what my goal is as soon as i'm having enough money i'll just move out of this place and my first opportunity and actually the hardest thing in america when you come and you don't have credit story you don't have anything you can't really rent an apartment so i had to earn enough money to pay for apartment for one year up front and this is how i moved out and my second place which i personally rented for myself alone living alone i uh, was living in in wall street so that was my actual first apartment that I rented by myself, went to furniture shopping, bought all these little things for my apartment and just felt so <sighs> nice to be alone. Anyway, that's kind of the story about this modeling apartment, my physical fights, the emotions I lived in there, the stolen food. That's the story. Tomorrow, guys, I'm planning to take you to one more spot, which kind of also triggers emotions in me. And I would like to also tell you how I felt at the specific moment. I just really hope tomorrow I'll have time to do that. Uh, and now we're actually going to be getting ready to go to a restaurant. You guys know me and Valeria, we're such foodies, so we're going going today to this really beautiful restaurant that has three Michelin stars. It's fully vegan in the menu, so I'm really, really excited to try it and I will take you along with us. day in New York. I'm leaving tonight so I don't have much time left. I'm on my way now for a meeting with the brand Alexander Beerman which is I worked with many times but I actually never met team in person so I'm really excited to meet everyone and get to know each other. Then after meeting Valeria for a lunch at San Ambrose Soho uh, we also want to squeeze in Valeria wanted to go to actually some exhibition I forgot which one and also I want to take Valeria to Sweet Rehab this place with amazing desserts because Valeria loves desserts and I told him it's totally worth trying and trying before we leave and also I have to stop by Lego store to buy a present for Allegra because the girl will not allow me to come back home without a present she specifically ordered me to buy her a Lego a very specific Lego so I have to find Lego store and get her this specific lego that's a plan guys also i uh hope to see my friend before i leave katya also yes guys i feel like i didn't check in after yesterday 11 park madison experience we absolutely loved it it is very very different the portions are super tiny it is true all of the uh, food were vegan which is I would think quite challenging to do for a chef like vegetarian is one thing but vegan is all another level but honestly like the the flavor the textures like a weird vegetables that I never heard about before were there and I think it's an experience and I feel like when you go to those type of restaurants this is exactly the food I would expect to eat something that I would not eat in a regular day you know so it is totally worth it to try the room is beautiful they let us go into the kitchen to meet a chef so it's totally worth it worth the money worth the experience so highly recommend to try for some special location <laughs> actually passing this building here i never seen that before so so many new buildings in new york is crazy One of others places which brings me a lot of emotions and memories is Whole Foods on Union Square and you'll ask me why. The reason why I connect a lot of memories to this place is I used to have lunch there every single day when I came to New York. A, because the place is pretty central so I would always take subway and it would be like a central kind of subway station. B, the food in Whole Foods was pretty good and affordable so I remember I actually was taking the same thing every single day. It was 
was a soup and a box of sushi. And I would just sit on the second floor overlooking the Union Square, eat my food and dream big. And I would really sit there and just think about all the things that I want to do here in, in New York. And over time, they became a reality. So every time I pass this place, I remember this moment and they just remind me to know I stop dreaming and always sing big. Baby, your next car. <laughs> So guys, we had an idea to buy this Lego car so Allegra and uh, Valeria can have a bone for the next 30 years. By the age of 21, they'll be done. Okay guys, I have a very specific request for her, which was Mickey Mouse. We found exactly the section that we're looking for, which is this Disney Lego things. Oh, that's Encanto. That's cool. She actually ordered this, but my dad already bought her this. This one? Encanto is nice. Yeah, but she doesn't like Encanto, she likes Mickey. Okay guys, mission accomplished. We can 